In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place a retaining wall in here. Actually, we're going to do probably two of them and some steps going up the side of the retaining wall. So the first thing you need to do is decide where the retaining wall is going. Obviously, it looks like someone's dug something out here and that's where the wall is going to go. So again, we go up here to our drawing tools and I'm going to start over here on this side. I'm going to hold down the shift key so that my line that I'm drawing here is going to be straight. So I'm going to bring it about up to, let's say here, and I'm going to come across over to here. Now the question is where do you draw it to and where the steps are going to go. It doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it up with another piece of wall as you'll see here in a second. So you just want to eyeball it here. I'm going to click there hold down the shift key, bring it down to the ground, click, and then bring it back over to where I started. And now we have the area drawn in for the retaining wall. Then we'll click on Overfields Products to get to the perspective menu. Then we want to find the type of wall that we want to use. For this wall, I want to use the non-weathered Versalock, so we go down here to that choice and select on it, and you see the library again switched over to just those products. I'm just going to pick the first color here by clicking on it. Now, of course, this doesn't look correct because we need to adjust the perspective, just like we do with pavers. But the difference is with the paving setting set up here is that the top handles are together. So when I move this one up, the one to the right goes with it and vice versa. What we want for walls is that the left side and the right side to be tied together. So I'm going to just put it here so you can see these move. When I cl click on walls, you see that the side straightened out and now if I move this one on the left the one below it goes with it instead of the one to the right. So all you need to do to adjust the perspective of wall is click on this one down here at the bottom and line it up with the bottom of the wall and I'm going to take the top handles and line them up with the top of the wall so now the perspective is set. Then you set the scale by taking the slider up here and sliding it to the right so that you make it large enough. That looks about the right size to me, so basically I'm done with this wall. I click OK to exit this menu. Now I want to draw a piece of the wall going back up the hill here. Now I know in advance I'm going to be placing steps over it, so I'm not too critical on how the bottom looks. But the top is important and this edge here. So we'll go here to the Define Area Tools, and again I'm going to line it up with the edge of the wall here, hold down the Shift key so that I get a straight line, and I'm going to bring this back about like that and create my wall about like that. So I'm going to click on Overfill Products and now I want to grab the same pattern and color that I used here. I'm going to click on Grab Pattern and then I just put the hand with the pointing finger over this pattern here and click on it and it grabs the same pattern. Click on Walls so that I can set the perspective and again matching up the handles here. Then what I want to do is I want to scale this wall so that the stones line up here on the edge. To do that, again, you'll use the scaling here. Went too, too big. That's about right. Okay, so now I want to show you a trick. You notice that the wall doesn't look very 3D because it needs a shadow on it. So to create a shadow for this section here, which is in the shade, I'll click on it. I'm going to duplicate it, so I go up here to the duplicate icon, click once, make one copy, then right click to cancel. Now I want to turn this into a shadow because it's an object. If I click here to shadow, it just converted that into a grayscale shadow. And now if I want to make it a little bit darker, I right click and we'll change this to 44. And now you can see it looks a little more 3D and realistic. Now that I have this wall defined, I want to experiment with a different color. And before I do that, I want to make sure that the side wall and the front wall are actually grouped together so when I change one, I change both of them. So to do that, you need to select both of them. I'm just going to click on the screen and drag across the whole screen here. So now I've selected it, and it's probably actually selected the shadow, but because that's an object, I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to go up here to Area. I click on create a texture group. So now these two are grouped together. So when I go back in here and I'm going to try a different color, you'll see that they both change at the same time. Uh, 
That one's not too bad, but my favorite is still the Canyon Creek. Now you notice that the wall over here changed its scale, so I'm going to have to go back in and adjust that, and we'll just bring that down. Right there looks good to me. Okay, so now I want to put in the steps. Steps are objects. So we're going to go up here to Object. We're going to go to Rosetta Steps. And I'm going to grab the first one here because I think that will work pretty good. So I'm going to double click on it. I want to reduce the size because I know these are really big steps. They're high resolution and our resolution is turned down here so we can make these movies. Okay, but actually that looks like a pretty good scale. So now I'm just going to place the step in here. And you see, when I place the step here, it kind of covered up the end of that wall. So it didn't really matter what that wall looked like. Now we're going to need a few more steps to get up to the top of the hill. But actually, we probably won't see it going up to the top of the hill. But we need at least three or four more steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the step I've already put in here because it's already close to the right scale. So I'll go over here to the duplicate icon, click once, right click to stop duplicating. Now I'm going to size these down a little bit more because the steps are going to be getting smaller as it goes up the hill. And then I'm going to bring this over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away these two bottom steps here because it's going to look like it kind of turns here. You'll see what I mean here in a second. So we'll go up here to the eraser tool. I'm going to make sure I have a large eraser and I'm just going to cut all this away. So as you can see, I cut a little too much here. I'm going to bring that back by right-clicking and drawing. Now it looks like the steps just kind of turn and go up there. So that looks good enough for me. I'm done. I'll click OK. And now we want to draw in another wall up here. So now to draw in my second wall, I'll go up here to the drawing tools. And I think I'll start it right about here where this step is. So I click, bring it over to the other side. Again, hold down the shift key so that you have a straight line and we'll bring it back up to about here and bring it down behind the steps. Actually, I probably should bring it all the way behind the steps because the neat thing is you can always move these lines if you don't like where the wall goes. That's real easy. So now I'll go back in here to Overfields Products. I'm going to grab the same uh, Canyon Creek that I used here, so I'm just going to click on Grab Pattern select on it and it placed it up there. Let's close this. So let's adjust the perspective. We'll go here to walls. Again, we take the top handle, bring it down. The bottom handle is pretty much already there. And now we want to scale it. it. Looks about right to me. So we're OK with that. So I'll click OK. So now I want to place it behind the steps. I go here to send it back. And as you can see, the steps kind of cover it up. Now I want to place a wall cap on the wall. To do that, you need to draw in just the cap, which goes up about two to three inches, depending on the product that you're using. So again, we need the drawing tools. And I'm going to start right here in this corner. Click, hold down the shift key again so I get a straight line, and then bring it all the way down here to the end. Now again, Keep in mind perspective. You see how it's wider here and smaller over here in the distance. So now I've got that drawn in. I'll click on the products. Let's move this around a little bit. And let's go down here actually to wall caps. And we have Canyon Creek. And again, we'll adjust the perspective. Adjust the scale. And it looks about right. So now I'm done. Now I want to draw in a piece of the uh, caps going this way. We just pretty much repeat the process. I'm going to go a little bit farther here underneath the steps because it's just easier that way. And again, I'll grab from pattern and we'll adjust the perspective.
set the scale and that's pretty much it now if you want to get fancy oh, of course we need to send this back behind the step and you want to make it look like it's a little more 3D and you could see the top of it even though you really couldn't see too much here you could probably get away with what we've done let's go ahead and show you how to do that 